Hello, welcome to another video. This week's something just a little bit different and it's about high protein snacks and desserts and treats. So once again, this is something I share with my clients all the time because when you're on a high protein diet, it, you kind of want to be able to fit in the treat. And especially if you're someone who's like low on carbs or low on fats for whatever reason, like your particular goal, it can be really great to know what kind of high protein snacks are delicious. So I've got my little stash here and then I'll make a couple of other recommendations. And then at the end of the video, I bought all of the Muscle Nation protein bars. And just for fun, I've tried them across the week and I have rated them from one to 10. 10 being delicious. So let's get into it. So this is my stash. So we have powdered peanut butter, almond protein, protein mousse, protein hot chocolate. We've got more protein mousse by Red Dragon, two flavors. Protein ice cream, a Yopo ice cream, and then more plant protein. So they're my favorites. So yeah, we'll just go through all of those. But first of all, we will start with my absolute favorite high protein treat, and that is a smart protein bar. I don't actually have any on me at the moment because I bought all these Muscle Nation ones and I don't need that many bars. It takes me a while to get through them. So the Choc Cherry Coconut is amazing. It's kind of like a cherry wrap. And then they have like 15 other flavors too. So yeah, delicious, smart protein bar. We'll pop a picture of it up in the screen. And so the rest are not in any particular order. I'm just sharing all the ones that I love and that clients also love. So this one is one of my all time favorites. So you'll be able to see Red Dragon Nutritionals. It is vanilla slice protein custard. So it thickens up into this really cool custard texture and it actually tastes like vanilla custard. So like all the other flavors are not amazing, but this one's like 10 out of 10 amazing. So that one's really good. Then we've got the Red Dragon Nutritionals. So this one is a choc raspberry with dark choc chunks and it was actually pretty good. I won't get it again for a little while because some of the chocolate ones, they all have this kind of underlying same flavor that this one totally bypasses. So yeah, then we've got True Protein. So this is my favorite protein brand. So we actually have their normal protein. So this is the concentrate, so the thicker protein. And then they also have isolates that are really nice. And I have the vanilla, chocolate, and salted caramel, all delicious. And then I get their hot chocolate. This one's really good, especially for winter. High protein, you get 10 grams per scoop. So yum, yum. <laughs> then there's True Protein Mousse. So this mousse is like a totally different texture to this mousse. This one being a little bit more airy, but yeah, I really like it as a high protein snack. So sometimes I make it up for dinner, like after dinner. It only takes about 30 minutes to set. This is for vegan. So this I absolutely loved when I did my comp prep. So I had it like nearly every day. And now in having it, it's not that gray. It's a little bit powdery. So I think my diet brain liked it more than my normal brain, but I just got it for like a chocolate treat in between. Then we have, this is a really nice one. So choc peanut butter cup. So the good thing with like a plant protein, so this one and also this one, is that when you mix it in oats, it actually gets really thick and really sticky. So you end up with almost like a cookie batter type texture. So you like cook the oats, and then you put in a scoop of this and you just mix it all in and this kind of, it soaks up all the water. So yeah, it's, it's not chalky, it's like kind of creamy. And then so this flavor is amazing, especially if you've got like a piece of dark chocolate on top where you can drizzle some peanut butter. Or this one is amazing because it's just a neutral almond protein. So yeah, made of almonds. Whereas a lot of the other ones, like this one here is actually made of peanuts. So that's those. And then we have powdered peanut butter and this brand is the brand. So there's other brands like PB2, Macro Mike, that might be the same place. But anyway, this one, delicious. I mix this in with my oats. So at the moment I have this and this. So 20 grams and 20 grams in my oats and mix it all up and put a piece of dark chocolate on top to melt and it is really good. And then we have the ice cream category. So <laughs> there's a lot of protein ice creams that are really good. So this one, FroPro is my favorite. So they have salted caramel and they have chocolate they're the two i've tried anyway both very good the texture is quite nice and there's just as much carbs as it is protein so per serve you get 10 grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein so super macro friendly then yopro ice cream sticks but not yopro ice cream tubs that is very icy this one very creamy so this one is a, a strawberry and cream flavor but you can also get like mocha peppermint and salted caramel they're all I've tried all of those 
and really good, like 109 calories and I believe like 12 grams of protein, something like that. So delicious. So those are my favorite high protein products. I also have a discount code with Elite Sucks, which is Jennifer 10. So J-E-N-I-F-E-R 10. And you get a discount on anything that they sell. They don't sell true protein. You have to get this one from their own website, but pretty much everything else you can get from Elite Sucks. A bit of a random one today. I decided that I'm going to try every Muscle Nation protein bar and see which ones are the best. Most often when we want to eat protein bars, we find that some of them are just a little bit too much. And then there's always usually a favorite from each brand. And yeah, generally, so with my clients, I'll always end up recommending which ones that I think are the best. And nine times out of 10, we are all in agreement, except for something like, I generally don't like banana flavored stuff and other people do, so. Yeah, Coles had a half price sale, so I bought one of every single flavor that they had. As you can see here, so we have white choc hazelnut, birthday cake, choc mint, choc vanilla, caramel toffee, cookies and cream, white choc raspberry, whoop, choc fudge brownie, that's probably gonna be my favorite, and two plant protein, choc hazelnut and banana toffee. So I tried to think of ways that I could do it where I didn't have to eat them all in the same time. So what I'm going to do is just try a few at a time. So, and then I've got these little things to wrap them back up. So I think what I'll do, because, you know, when you have like one thing and another thing, the flavors kind of all blend in. I'm gonna pick similar flavors to try together. So today we will do four different ones. And that is going to be the cookies and cream, white choc hazelnut, choc vanilla, and choc fudge brownie. So I'm just gonna chop a little bit off each one. Okay, so here we have it. Chuck vanilla, chuck fudge brownie, white chuck hazelnut, and cookies and cream. And the packets are terrible, so I'm not gonna be able to wrap them up in the way that I thought. So let's try them. So I'm gonna start with the cookies and cream. And what I was thinking is I will just give a rating out of 10. That is Mostly cream flavored, like the center part of an Oreo. It's kind of what it tastes like. And I probably want a bit more chocolate biscuit. So I'm gonna say a six and like I would eat it, but I don't love it. So now I'm gonna try the white chalk hazelnut. It looks like this. I should show you what they look like. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna give that one a two. Tastes very not bitter, but like you know, that protein powdery taste. Chocolate vanilla. Let's go. What's this one? Hmm. It's actually really nice. Chocolate with a hint of like vanilla icing flavor, I would say. I'm gonna give that one an eight out of 10. And now the one that I believe will be my favorite, which is a chocolate fudge brownie. So, looks like this. Looks boring, but. Mm-hmm. I will also give that one actually maybe a seven. That one tastes like chocolate, but with that chocolate syrupy chocolate icing taste. So it's chocolate flavored, but it doesn't taste like dark chocolate or anything. So yeah, that's the first four done. So that is cookies and cream, white choc hazelnut, chocolate fudge brownie, and choc vanilla. I'll see you in the next clip where I'll do another four. And then what I think I'll do is these two plant-based babies together. round two of the Muscle Nation protein bar tryouts, we'll call them. I'm gonna do the whole other six now. So they're all ready to go. So we've got caramel toffee, white choc raspberry, birthday cake, banana toffee, choc hazelnut, and choc mint. This one I'm having last because I have a feeling that the mint is going to taint everything. So let's start with the caramel toffee. Mm. 
It's actually really good. Super sweet. I'm gonna give that one a seven. <laughs> now we have white chalk raspberry. Mmm. Okay, that's a nine. That's getting a nine. That kind of tastes like jam, white chocolate jam. Very good. <laughs> okay, birthday cake. Kind of looks like, it's very cute. Mmm. Not really sure what the flavor is, but it's quite nice. So I'm gonna say, it actually just kind of tastes like maybe a vanilla cake with sprinkles on top. So give that a seven. Now for the plant protein, we have two chalk hazelnut and banana topping. Try hazelnut. That was banana. Oh, no, that's a no. I'm gonna give that a zero. Oh, not an okay, a zero. Don't buy that one. <laughs> Unless you really like, like, Oh, no, <laughs> don't buy that one. Let's go the chalk hazelnut. Um, oh, no, I'm gonna give up a two, maybe. So vegan ones, no, no plant protein ones. Wait, lucky last, chocolate mint. Chocolate mint's one of my favorite type of flavors. Mm-mm, very minty. So I'm gonna give that a nine. Okay, so that about sums up my taste test. So the best ones were the white choc raspberry and the choc mint, if you're into choc mint, and an absolute no-go for the plant protein ones. So I hope you like this video, a little bit different, probably a little bit more of a handy tip as far as your food's concerned. If you like this kind of content or if you've tried any of these or you have any other recommendations, Throw them in the comments and I'll see you next week in the next video. Bye.